What's up, people? This is Deep East TV. Chilling at the uh, Hoffman site, the sacred site. Right now, we're going to launch that Deep East TV community room. Go ahead and kick it. I'm Queen Nandi. Warrior Woman. Well, proud to the people. Eat a breath with the Black Riders Liberation Party. Live and direct here on Black Rock. The PNN home from this newsroom, street newsroom. And all proud to the people. All proud to the people. Everybody going to introduce themselves? I'm Will Paisley. Tiny, daughter of D, for without whom there would be no me, strong black Indian mama, mama soltera, and a welfare queen. This one. Alice Arrigo, Kenneth Arney Jr. Foundation. Monteado Silencio, Presente. Jonathan Gomez, right here at Home Points. Joseph Bolden, just trying to outlive the whole system. <laughs> Okay, so then we start with the, the story of the day. Um, we want to start with Eda Ref from That's Black Riders. You know what? Right here. After all, you have to kind of get All proud to the people. Um, today, what we're going to speak about is the, uh, the Jordan Davis case is going on in Florida. Um, you know, the Black Riders Liberation Party and our Black Commune program was the evolving the advanced version of the 10 point platform. Uh, we ride to put an end to the police brutality and the murder of black people. We understand that the means and the means of the, the cause behind it is uh, white supremacy, capitalist, uh, capitalist values that are trying to be maintained, trying to maintain the status quo. Uh, the police are an occupying force in our community. Um, it, it goes hand in hand with white vigilanteism, which is pretty much the same case that goes on all over the world, um, all over the nation uh, in particular, um, all over this colony. Um, the, the basic the basic thing is like the judicial system, they don't necessarily um, follow their laws. Uh, there is no justice in the judicial system because uh, there's no justice, there's no science, there's no equality, there's no democracy in capitalism. And that's something that we have to heighten the contradiction and people to see the hypocrisy of this so-called democracy. Uh, you cannot get justice through the justice system. It is always uneven. Um, we don't get judged by a jury of our own peers. The, uh, the courts are always um, partial. They don't necessarily try to meet the, um, the the needs of the people, or do they meet the um, people who come from the same background, socially, um, econo uh, economically, financially, um, you know, ethically. You know what I'm saying? The people just don't don't agree with each other as far as the people who are getting judged or the people who are doing the jury. So therefore, you know, we believe all black people, um, uh, people of color, poor people are political prisoners. And it goes hand in hand with um, the, the justice system, the, uh, the judicial, the legislative, uh, even the um, executive, you know, the, the higher uh, bourgeois elite, uh, bureaucratic, bureaucracy, you know what I'm saying? It's all based off of private interests, which can never be for the interests of the public. And that's why we say death to the pigs. You know what I'm saying? We believe that the pigs are nothing but um, the guard dogs of the reactionary state of um, capitalism, you know what I'm saying? And basically they want to enforce and keep maintain, maintain um, imperialism all over the globe. So the pigs are the modern day slave catchers and the, and, um, the prison industrial complex is the modern day plantation. Um, this gears a lot of the um, demand, the prison labor um, is, is demand through um, private privatized um, co corporations who make um, a lot of profit off of um, prison labor. And um, it also pays for the heavy militarization of the pigs uh, with this war on drugs and a lot of the, this war on our people that is being waged in the community. So therefore, we believe we need the immediate end um, and, um, people's control over um, our security, um, over our um, military, economic, political, and military sovereignty to develop a nation. Um, but we believe that you cannot have a nation um, until it's a, a, a full international class struggle within our community because we're in the belly of the beast of this um, imperialist system and we can press international buttons from within the belly of the beast. That's what our philosophy is all about. That's what the philosophy of UAP movement is all about. Um, it's uh, intercommunalism. We ride for um, African 
and the Black Commune program. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. I also wanted to just promote for a program we have coming up next. We have our film screening uh, in Richmond, uh, oh, 1021, MacArthur, uh, Mark, uh, MacDonald, Black Donald, we would like to call it. 1021 Black Donald at the Bobby Bowen Center. You know what I'm saying? Over there in Richmond. Um, Bobby Bowens is a, is a black pan, was a Black Panther Party, the uh, is founder, uh, co-founder of the, uh, chap the Richmond, Ch Richmond chapter of the Black Panther Party um, in Richmond, and we're basically we're just commemorating uh, the, uh, the honor and the spirit and the legacy, and just continuing the struggle here. You know what I'm saying, live and direct from Black Arthur to Black Donald. You know what I'm saying, all proud to the people. I shit, you know, turn it off because then.